Are you searching for ways to improve your overall well-being, physically, emotionally, perhaps spiritually? This morning we have a happiness expert. We have happiness expert, I love that title, and creator of HowHappyIs.com. Sophie Keller, welcome back. Thank you very much. And the things that I'm actually going to talk about today are not the usual things, not the cosmetic sort of enhancements, right. the Botox, etc. They're sort of more longer more lasting ways to look younger. Okay, your first tip, you say release built up anger. We've been right. told before that anger will age you. Something like anger, which is very, very physical, if it builds up inside of you, can cause a tightening of the jaw, it can cause sort of a tightening of the face, and then all sorts of diseases sure. within the body. Mm. If you think about when you're actually angry, Michaela, and the force and the power of it when it's yeah. outside, then you imagine that energy <laughs> sort of not not coming out, right. but running a rampant riot around your body and then building up over time. Yeah. It's very, very important that you express your anger. So, you know, how do you uh, find your ideal mm -hmm. partner? You know, the idea even just to begin with that you can have a life partner and totally be happy. I mean, it, is that just thinking Antiquated. and hoping for too much? No, I really actually think you can, but you have to negotiate everything and come to agreements about things and decide what qualities are really important for you in that relationship. But when we talk about finding your ideal partner, you need to work on yourself. You need to drop the masks and the armour and all these um, things that are stopping you from being who you are fully and completely. Be really whole and all things will come to you. So that means working on yourself because if you are truly yourself fully and completely, then you will magnetize and attract the person who is really right for you. If you're still walking around life with armor on and pretend it pretenses, then you're not going to, you're gonna attract people who have the same pretenses as you. Let me show you something. Okay, the chi's coming in. You imagine I'm chi, okay. okay? And I'm coming in, which is the energy, the flow of energy. Right. I come in, I come in, I come in, and I go into the refrigerator. Into the refrigerator. The first thing that you see is the fridge. Yeah. And you wonder why you've put on weight and your husband's big as well. What is more important for you, peace, wealth, harmony within your family, or this is the front entrance. So then where do I park and what do I do? I don't okay, know. okay, let me explain to you. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Breathe, you'll be fine. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it's just a house. This house has a slight bit of it's slightly depressed, actually. When you yeah. come in, if you notice, it's sort of it's enclosed. low and yeah. enclosed. It's like you're going into a cave. Okay. What do my corn stalks say about me? Well, they're dead. So <laughs> I actually that adds to the depression. Strike one. Well, this is my faux chandelier. <laughs> you actually need to wrap it up. Strike two. Things are down. Yeah. And depressed. depressed. And I want to cry. Sophie. What about my and strike three. Again. Dead. Deadly. <laughs> dead flowers. Again. Just love dead spinning. flowers. Dead. No, these aren't dead flowers, Sophie. They, these are dead leaves. Okay, dead. I, I cut them myself. Look, the thing is, is that we actually do need to bring some life I into this house, yes. Tip number two, because you say it's really, and I, and I think this makes sense to yeah. most of us, acknowledge that the other person is clearly upset, because right. if you don't even acknowledge that, yeah. that almost adds flame or fi fuel to the flame, does it? Well, absolutely. You know, the other per if the other person's upset, they're upset. They've got feelings. You can't deny right. that they don't have feelings. And, and you have to look at, is it more important for you to be right or that your relationship works? And you know what? A lot of people feel it's more important that they're right. So focus on what you have, not what you don't have. That's right. a really good tip. A lot of people think every day, what do I not have? I don't have a house. I don't have a relationship. I don't have this. I don't have a job. But, you know, it's almost suspending happiness. What would happen if you, were, you are happy already and come from that place? Because we are human beings. We are not human doings and we are not human That's happiness. really interesting.